Right now I'm just uh, releasing the air pressure. It builds up air pressure when you uh, pump the fluid in. So every now and then you got to release the air pressure. You have a separate uh, have a separate valve for that. So we're out in the shop this evening and uh, we've got my friend's Kubota in here. It's a B3000, the sweet little tractor. Um, and we're uh, putting ballast in the rear tires. So we did it to, uh, we put weight, yeah, ballast in my tractor, uh, <clears throat> I guess about a month ago. And this is a smaller tractor, but we've got the gear to do it with. So. Uh, I offered to do it to his. They're 16 inch turf tires on the back. So uh, we'll, we'll set up the uh, pump unit here and he's putting windshield washer uh, in there. Uh, they were full of chloride. We uh, dis, dis, disassembled the tires off of the rims and drained uh, the chloride and we're replacing it with windshield washer. Should always jack up the tire, uh, the tractor or the tire, the wheel off of the ground because the weight of the tractor, <clears throat> you know, will impede the, the fluid from going in the tire. So I'm going to jack it up just a little bit off the ground, take the weight off of it, and then I'll hook up the rings and we'll start pumping fluid in there. I've got the uh, wheel off of the ground a little bit. You want to make sure the valve is at the most top, um, the top location, so that when you fill your tires with fluid, you're not filling the entire tire with fluid. You're just filling it up level with the top of the rim here, just like that. So I want to make sure the valve is on the uh, the most upright position, and. Uh, I'll take the little stem out from inside the valve and release all the air, and then I'll hook up my uh, my pump here. We'll uh, connect this guy to the, uh, the valve here.
I have a three-way valve as well because uh, you need to pump from the bucket of windshield washer inside the tire and you need to release uh, the air pressure as well while you're pumping. So it's sort of a simple setup. I'll put windshield washer in here, goes in here. Uh, when we were doing my tractor, I sort of explained how it works. And it comes through the pump, goes in the tire. And then when you have uh, a little bit of pressure in your tire, you just, you know, you uh, close the pump valve and open both of these and it'll cycle through and go into the other bucket. So this, these tires are 13.6, uh, 16 inch tires. Now, if you Google it, there's uh, all kinds of uh, charts there on uh, online that'll tell you how many uh, gallons of fluid uh, you need to put in the tires. Actually, on the, on the chart online, I think it's, it's more like 30. But this is, uh, <clears throat> this is minus 40 degrees Celsius windshield washer. So I think you could almost mix this half and half with water. And, you know, we don't, we don't live in a really cold climate here. It can get quite cold, but never 40 below. So uh, you could almost mix it half and half, probably. You could put... Uh, uh, 15 a water and 15 a windshield washer but we're going to put more windshield washer than water so because we have I think 28 per tire but we'll put two of uh, water and uh, I don't think it would ever freeze in the uh, in the tire So our bucket of windshield washer is full. We're going to fire up the pump and see if we can get some fluid in there. Uh, like I mentioned before, we're adding windshield washer to these tires. We uh, disassembled the tires and we took the calcium chloride out. Now, in my opinion, that calcium chloride is nasty stuff. I think originally they put that in tractor tires because uh, it was cheap. I think you can buy it in a dry bag, mix it with mix it with water, and it never freezes. And they put that in tires. You can put a big amount in huge tires, and it never freezes, and that's fine. The problem with calcium chloride is the minute it starts leaking from the valve, or if you have tube tires, it, it, it leaks on the rim and stuff. The minute it hits the oxygen, it starts to rust because it's really salty water. It, it is nasty stuff. And it'll rust really bad. This guy had a leak at one of the valves on one of his tires and it was starting to rust around the valve. And so when we took the, the valves apart and the tires off the rim, just taking the, uh, the air valve out of the, the little nipple out of the valve, the air tire, the tire valve uh, it was corroded and we had to drill it out and that's what happened on my tractor as well because those valves are made out of metal and bronze and then you add the salt water calcium chloride salted water to that mix and it's just going to corrode and 
and actually both valves were leaking. I took the plastic caps off the valves and the air was leaking out, out of the tire, the air and the fluid. So that calcium chloride, that's nasty stuff. Uh, um, anybody watching out there though, let me know what you put in uh, your tires. Like you can put beet juice, windshield washer, rim guard they have, um, other stuff too. Let me know what, if you've added ballast to your tires, your tractor tires, what you've used and what your experience has been. And if you use calcium chloride, uh, what, what's your experience with that stuff? But anyway, yeah, we're taking that out of this and uh, we're adding windshield washer. So we're going to fire up the pump here, see how it works. So it's not pumping, I just fired it up and it's hot as heck. It needs to be primed. You can't use these pumps dry at all. So I'm gonna pour some uh, washer fluid in there, maybe take the top off and we'll give it another shot, but it will not work dry. There, I just poured a little water down the hose here on the way to the pump and uh, you can see the fluid. pretty slow because it's a small valve but a uh, small hose that goes into the tire but it's going down so uh we're going now So I just finished one tire. I don't know if um, I'm looking online at the tire ballast charts and I don't know if those charts are when you fill the tires like really full. Um, I only fill it, you know, level with the top of the rim there. So I think it might be like maybe 80%. I don't know. Anybody out there knows. So anyway, we filled that up and it took uh, 20 eight gallons 28 gallons of windshield washer you might be wondering why i'm adding weight to the rear tires of a tractor uh quite a few reasons uh one the the, the most obvious reason is safety tractors are uh you know if you're going down a slope or <clears throat> sideways or something that you you can there's a, always a danger of your tractor tipping it's especially if you have a loader on like this guy huh um so with weight or ballast in the rear tires it keeps the tractor down to the ground um so safety first um many reasons uh traction you know if you're heavy you'll get much better traction and another you know another safety thing is uh when you're lifting things up with the loader that's a it's really strong the hydraulics on loaders are really strong and it'll pick up the back wheels of the tractor and there's always a danger that it'll flip over sideways. But uh, especially the newer tractors, they're not as heavy as the older ones. So uh, you really should ballast uh, your rear tires on your tractor. It's a must, whether it's a small tractor or a big tractor. There's farmers out there with huge tractors and they ballast their tires, not only with liquid ballast, but they put the big, big weights in the center there. Tractors can handle it, uh, so must have, that's your number two must have for on a tractor is weighted or ballast on your rear tires.